times do I have to tell you to? You gotta put the games away when you're done. Now let's put them in their proper cases. Titans, go! Greetings, friends. Hey. Uh, what up? Hey, Starfire, welcome home. What's in the basket? Items I have been gathering for a special Tamaranian tradition that I hope you will all participate in. It is very similar to your Thanksgiving. Delicious food and special friends. Oh, please tell me you will join me. Uh, no. I'll eat whatever you make. Oh, I have the happiness. It means so much to me that you will all join in my people's ancient tradition. Guess I'll fire up the grill. What's on the menu? Only the finest space cuisine. Glurk scales, fried fish legs, and my favorite, mouthworms. You know what? I totally forgot. It's my baby cousin's birthday today. Mine too. Oh yeah? Does she live downtown near the movie theater? Uh, she does indeed. Kabu! <laughs> Raven, would you care for a mouthworm? Uh, no. I'll be in my room trying to forget I ever saw that. I'll try one, Star. Oh, joy! Now these are best when eaten raw. So, uh, I just, uh, ate the whole thing, huh? Yes. So, like, like the whole thing in my mouth? Yes, the whole thing. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, uh, down the hatch. At least you are always here for me, Mouthworm. Is there no one with whom to share my traditions? <sighs> What's that? You would love to be a part of feast day? Oh, what wonderful news! You really think I could pull off skinny jeans? I mean, I know I could get them on, but could I pull them off? Greetings, Titans! Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, you know, there's something going on in your stomach region there. Oh, this is nothing. It's just Perry. Perry? Yes, my adorable little space parasite. He appeared on my belly last night and now wants to join me for the feast day dinner. It just moved! I saw it move! Everyone stand back! This is a level 9 biohazard. I assure you, Perry is perfectly harmless. If we don't act now, Starfire, this whole thing is going to spiral out of control and we'll end up on the other side of the galaxy fighting a giant spider alien! Or something. Perry says you are being quite rude, Robin. Uh, don't think Perry can say anything. We are communicating through my brain. Uh, Star, this is not normal. Not normal. It seems that is something I am often accused of being by my fellow Titans. She is out of her mind, Silky. Out of her mind. I mean, she's talking to a parasite. A parasite. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't tell me you buy her story. Here, let me show you something. Ah! No one must know about that. According to my research, Perry has no ability to communicate with its host and is most definitely not friendly. I think Star was so sad no one wanted to celebrate feast day that she created a personality for this disgusting mass as a coping mechanism. We'd better tell the others. Guys, guys, we have to talk. It's about- Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. hold up, Robin. Perry was just finishing up a story. Go on, Perry. <laughs> what does throb, ooze, pus, glow, glow mean, Star? <laughs> Hopefully I can relay it correctly. And then she was all like, I have no idea where the eggs are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
eggs. Love it. Uh, yeah, did I miss something, or did you all just become best buds with an open sword? As you can see, Robin, you have misjudged Perry. Yeah, Robin, he's great. Even Raven likes him. Whatever, he's fine. I am sorry, Perry, but I already asked them and they declined. Wait, what'd he say? What'd he say? He asked if you all would join us for feast day. I told him... I'm there. there! What about you, Robin? Oh, I'll be there. To keep an eye on that filthy parasite. Wonderful! Now, I promise to show Perry around the city. We will be back in time for tonight's feast. I don't like this, Titans. I'd better follow them to make sure nothing happens. Oh, I wish my tapeworm was more like Perry. I followed them all day, just waiting for that thing to mutate into the giant spider we'll end up fighting on the other side of the galaxy. But no dice! He's a more fiendish opponent than I thought. Or Perry's just a friendly parasite, and you're a creepy guy in the bushes with a camera. Hmm, creepy camera guy. No! I am certain this will be the best feast day ever! Perry would like to make a toast. He says he would like to thank you for welcoming him into your home. Uh, I'd like to make a toast, too. We've got to separate that thing from you before it kills you! Take it easy! Perry doesn't exist! Don't you see? He's a figment of Starfire's imagination! It has got to go! He is never leaving, Robin. We are the best friends! Well, if parasites are so great, then everyone should have one. Good thing I brought some for the occasion. Uh, what are you doing? Apparently, I'm making friends! Oh, this is so great! Yeah, I love sharing my nutrients! I love how weak they make me feel! Why didn't I get a parasite years ago? Stop it! Just stop! Perry is the only thing that makes me feel normal! Nice going, dude. <laughs> Someone call a doctor. Don't worry, Star. This won't hurt a bit. Robin, what are you doing to Perry? It's for your own good. <laughs> Hey, Robin. You can talk. Yep. I communicate through brainwaves just like Starfire said. Who feels like a jerk now? Guess I should have made an effort to understand you. It's not me you need to do a better job of understanding. Oh, Starfire. Wow, you really are the greatest. Here, to show you there's no hard feelings, I made you a cake. But we're inside my brain. It's a cape for your brain, dum-dum. Oh, cool. You talk to him? Sorry, Starfire. Your traditions may be strange, but sometimes I guess I'm not the normal one. More than sometimes, Robin. What's wrong, Perry? Do you have to leave? Goodbye, Perry! Don't leave, man! I'm gonna miss you so bad! That's awkward. I always cherish my brain cape! I love you. Ha! Ah, yes! What did I say? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it all along! You fools just wouldn't listen! I was right and you were wrong! Yeah! Only a couple of more hours till the biggest, craziest, booyahiest party of the year! The Titans East Annual Dance Party! I can't wait! Yep, looking forward to it. 
Okay, guys, let's bring it in. Tonight is our time to shine. We've been working all year for this. So, I've only got one thing to say. Titans, break it down! <laughs> We are undeniable! So, what time does this party start anyway? I bet it says on the invite. Invite? I never got an invite. Hey, me neither. Come to think of it. Wait a second. <laughs> I just want to dance with disgusting people! Why wouldn't they invite us? Last year, we were the life of the party! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah! Yep, life of the party. Oh, you must be starving, my little bumgorf. Do not worry, lunch is here. Hey, Starfire, got some bad news. None of us were invited to the Titans East party. Can you believe that? No, in fact, I cannot, for I have been invited. What? You got an invite? Guess you were the only one who got invited. I see. In that case, I shall inform the others that I am more well-liked than they are. Don't do that. You'll hurt their feelings. Don't even tell them you were invited. But if I do not tell them the truth, what other option is there? Um, it's called lying. You know, saying something that's not true. Just lie about where you're going tonight. But is lying not wrong? Not if you wink, it's not. A wink is like saying, just kidding, pal. You know so much about the lying. I'll teach you everything. And in exchange, you can take me to the party as your guest. It is a deal. The best way to learn how to lie is by starting off small. Go ahead. Hello, cyborg! It is currently 76 degrees outside. Uh, okay. Actually, it is only 74 degrees. Okay, Star, you're ready. Titans, I have something to tell you that is true. Tonight, Beast Boy and I will not be at the tower because we are going to... The movies! Cool, we'll come with. Yeah, we got nothing better to do now that we're not going to the party. Sounds good. Wonderful. like we just lied ourselves into a corner. And there is only one way out of the lie corner. More lies. Oh, hey, Star, which movie are we gonna go see tonight? Regarding the movies, Raven would prefer you not to come with us. What? Why? She said you chew your popped corn too loudly. Oh, she did, did she? Raven! What? So I chew too loudly, do I? I never said that. Well, Starfire said you did, and Starfire never lies. You know what? Just forget it. I'm not going to the movies. You told him I said he chews too loudly. Of course I did not. Also, Robin wants you to stay home tonight to clean out the gunk in the freezer. He thinks you are the slob. As 
Zarathmetry on Zintha! Zintha! Whoa! Why did you do that? Oh, you know why. And I won't be going to the movies tonight. Okay, you need to stop lying. But why? It is working! But we're just making everyone mad at each other! I understand. I promise I will stop the lying. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, my head is engulfed in flames and I must extinguish it. Actually, Robin, I believe you should reconsider going. What do you mean? Cyborg thinks you have an unpleasant smell. He does not wish to sit next to you. Unpleasant smell? Oh, maybe I won't go then. I'd hate to inflame his precious nostrils. We did it! No one wants to go to the movies. We are free to go to the party in secret. Hooray! Yeah, hooray. <laughs> Sorry, am I bothering you? Blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh -uh. Question, Sai. Does this smell funny to you? <laughs> oh, look what a slob I am. Oh man, my nose touched your armpit. Some nerve. Now I really smell. <laughs> you have two options. We can go to the biggest party of the year, or we can stay here and set everything straight. Yeah! Think everything's okay back at the tower? I am sure they are solving their problems. 